Uh, the Secret Garden is a story about a garden that comes back to life, about a young boy who believes he is ill but actually is not and is restored to health, about a young girl who is orphaned but then creates her own family, and about a very sad man who lost his wife and has a child he thinks is ill, and about how he gains a new family and comes to terms with his present. So. Unlike most ballets, this ballet has a narrator, there's an actor who is narrating alongside the dancers, and that narration is written by a writer called Alistair Middleton, who is English and who I work with quite a lot. He writes a lot of libretto for operas, but also has directed and was an actor himself. The music has been written by Jeremy Holland Smith, who I first worked with here in Sarasota about three years ago, and he wrote a piece for me called Changing Light, and he's written all the score for the, for the show. And, uh, the puppets for the show uh, are all animals, and they were designed by someone called Toby Ollier. And Toby Ollier uh, works in London. He's directed for Disney and also at the National Theatre, his own shows, and for other The puppets in Secret Garden are all animals, and they all have very distinct characters, and they really help move the story along. They're operated by the dancers, and the dancers aren't trying to hide. You can see them operating the puppets. And sometimes some of the dancers will almost act as things for the puppets to jump on or to land on. Uh, almost like being a piece of a tree or being a look for a rabbit to bounce up your leg. And there are rabbits, and there are some birds, Here. and there's a fox. You. Uh, the sets and costumes are designed by Tim Meacock, who is an English designer who I've worked with on several operas. And we've been working with the Oslo shop to make the, uh, the sets and also with their costume department to be making the costumes. At the beginning of the show, it's almost a monochromatic feel. There's not very much colour, and uh, when Mary arrives at the house, she's quite scared of the house, and it all seems a bit looming and grey and dark. And then as the story carries on, more and more colour comes into it as the garden comes back to life. And one of the things that we're doing with the scenery is that the dancers move nearly all the scenery themselves. So there are no blackouts when all the lights go out and you change scenery. It's all happening in front of you, and the dancers are manipulating all the scenery. Uh, the Secret Garden is a really magical story. It's beautiful, it's quite sad, it's quite funny, it ends up being really uplifting and you really follow the characters on a journey from somewhere where no one is very certain who they are to where they all know who they are and how they work with each other. It's a great show for a family to come and see together. The dancers here are beautiful and the Oslo have created some fantastic sets and costumes and I think it's a real treat. It's a really nice thing to come and do. For more information and an in-depth look at these stories and more, go online to yourobserver.com daily, like us on Facebook, and follow The Observer on Twitter. And pick up a copy of The Longboat in East County Observer Wednesday and The Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday. For more videos and fresh local content, go to The Observer YouTube page and press subscribe. You, your neighbors, your neighborhood.